Hello friends, welcome. Now in this video we are going to start with uh, frontend and right now we have the default Laravel welcome page. So for that I have uh, the I have downloaded the template I said you in the previous video, this tile food and I'm going to use only the index HTML here. So let's open this with uh, VS code. Okay. And here we have the menu and it's working with Alpine.js. So here we have the X data is open to false. Here we have the mine hero and all the sections and also we have the footer. Uh, make sure you run the npm run watch because we are going to add some Tailwind classes and we need to watch for the Tailwind CSS classes here. So what I want to do if you go to the resources, views, uh, welcome page, let me select all here and remove it. And if I go to the browser and refresh, right now we have the blank page. Okay. If you go to the layouts, we have the admin layout which uh, we worked for on the backend. We have the app layout which is for the dashboard when we authenticate. And the Guest layout is for the Guest. And here we have the Tailwind CSS, so app CSS for Tailwind CSS and the app JS. And here we have the Alpine JS here. And I'm going to use this Guest app, a uh, Guest blade for for our front end. Uh, here we add the slot and nothing else, but uh, I'm going to add the menu here and the footer down there. And because I want to have all always the menu and the footer here, not added manually in the pages. Okay, so go to the index. And here we have the footer, so let's copy this, go to the Guest Blade layout, and after the div, paste that in. Okay, now uh, again go to the index HTML, the page we get from this tile food, and now we need to copy the menu. Okay, go to the Guest Blade and now I'm going to add it after the body. Let's save this and go to the browser and refresh. If I think I save it or not. Yeah, I save it, but we need to go in the welcome page and add that. So X Guest Layout. Okay, now if I save and refresh, yeah, now here we have the menu and down there is the footer, but it's something like this and if you don't want that, let me, so here we have the navigation, let me add here the min hedge to be screen means mean has to be screen and if I refresh now we have the water down there and the menu up here okay now in the menu we need the home uh, about us I'm going to leave it or menu and not gallery but the make reservation and also remove this icon so in the menu we have not I'm going to leave it the tile food because we get the template from them, so let leave it. Here we have the gallery and the SVG, so remove the SVG and instead of gallery I'm going to say make reservation. Let's save it, let refresh and yeah, now we have about us or menu and make reservation. Okay, now let's work with the other uh, sections. Here we have the mine hero. Also the second one. 
let's copy all of them so let's copy all of them and after we are going to remove it so copy just not the footer because of the footer we have in the guest layout and paste everything inside the guest layout let's save it and the refresh and yeah we have something like this also in the welcome here we have the buy now button i'm going to change with the make reservation so let's go up and here it is the buy now i'm going to say make your reservation okay next sorry fresh next uh, now this section if you want you can leave it or you can remove it i'm going to leave also the about us here we have the today's speciality but uh, and you see we display the image of the menu the categories here the name and some description i'm going to remove the order now and we are going we need to create the category for today's special and display all the menus all the meals for this category in here okay we have this food gallery but i'm going to remove it i don't want this one we have this testimonial and also we have the order now which i'm going to remove also this one so let's come here and this is the mine hero this is the second section third section this is the today's today special this is food gallery because this one i'm going to remove i don't want that you can leave it but and also the last one i'm going to remove it so if i save a refresh and we have uh, something like this and i'm going to leave it as it is right now so here we are going to create that category and display the menus and also we need to make the routes and controllers for the menu uh, category and to make a reservation okay because here when this is going to be clickable when we click here go to the category to this specific category and display all the meals this category has okay so that's it about this video hope you enjoy and see you in the next one